You don't ever actually have to file a FAFSA, but if you want grants, scholarships, or student loans, you do have to file a FAFSA, and as soon as possible. Here's the schedule. For 2015 and 2016, the federal government starts accepting FAFSAs in January, January 1st. That means nine months before the beginning of your school year that you're applying for. And they accept the FAFSAs all the way through the school year, all the way to June 30th. So that means if you're in school right now and you've already paid your bills, let's say, for the fall of 2015 semester, you can actually still apply for that semester's FAFSA. You can still fill out the 2015-2016 FAFSA and you might get a student loan or a federal Pell Grant. That, so that means you might actually get money reimbursed for money you've already paid. So you should file those FAFSAs as soon as possible. For those who are planning to go to school in the fall of 2016, you should also file as soon as possible. And that's because a lot of states, scholarship foundations, and colleges award aid on a first come, first serve basis. In other words, they run out of money by February or March. So go ahead and start filling out the FAFSA in January. Now that's a problem maybe because you haven't finished your taxes and the FAFSA asks a lot of questions from your tax form. What you can do is go ahead and fill it out using estimates. You can look at your 2014 tax forms and sort of estimate how much income you've had, for example, or how much taxes you paid. Fill it out, file it, and then when you finally do your 2015 taxes, you can go back into your FAFSA and make corrections.